Okay, friends. So this video here is just going to be a quick little recap of the work we've done in the previous videos today. Um, we've spent over the past couple of weeks, a lot of times looking at linear models and the, the premise of a linear model, the line model is that you keep repeatedly adding the same thing to get your future value. So for example, if you want to know at the end, how much of something you're going to have, if it's changing linearly, you have a starting amount. And you just keep adding the same thing, something plus something plus something plus something plus something. You just add a bunch of somethings. Now, the question is, how many of those? Well, the, the benefit of math is you can model it by saying, OK, I don't know how many, so I'm going to call it X of them. And the something I'm adding, I'm going to call it M. And you might ask why I'm using M and X. And it's because I wanted you to recognize the equation. A lot of you have studied algebra uh, or pre-algebra, and you probably learned Y equals mx plus b. And that's what you're looking at here. Even when it was fixed costs plus variable cost times variable, it's still mx plus b. And the idea is when you look at m times x, you might be thinking, oh, it's multiplication. But the reason it's multiplied is because we get tired of writing something plus something plus something plus something plus something. So we synopsize by calling it multiplication because that's what multiplication was invented to do, a shortcut for addition. So linear models, repeated additions. Now, what we spent time with today were exponential models. And the idea of an exponential model is you're repeatedly multiplying to get the final answer. So in other words, to know where you're going to end up with an exponential model, you take your starting amount and then you multiply it by something and then multiply by that same something and multiply by that same something and multiply by that same something. And you keep doing that. And again, algebra and mathematics lets us have a certain number, say X of them, of some things. And this time I'm using B. I'm just trying to use a different letter, but I still want to use X. And the reason is this, I want X to be the variable. Because up here with the linear model, X was a certain number of additions. Now it's a certain number of multiplications, and that's why it's an exponent. Because just like multiplication is used to shorthand addition, exponents are used to shorthand multiplication. So if you multiply by the same thing a bunch of times, you can raise that same thing to the power of whatever you need to raise it to. Now, this is a general idea of exponential models. We're going to spend most of our time in this class looking at compounding uh, in financial math, so exponentially compounding. And honestly, this is kind of the basic formula we're going to work off of. We used it today a whole bunch of times. The future value of an investment is going to start with your initial deposit, which is, I think, called a principal. I'm pretty sure that's right times. Now, this is the interesting part. We're going to talk about this more uh, tomorrow in the next series of videos. One plus the rate is going to be raised to the number of compounds. Now, that might seem a little bit um, vague. So let's look at it and see how our example from today actually fits this. Future values, future value. The principle that we deposited was 100 bucks. One plus the rate. The one stands for the 100% of our investment that gets carried forward each, uh, each time we compound, each year, for example. So that's what the one is down here. And the 1.01 was one plus 0.01. It's just this and this are the same thing. So our rate was 1%, 0.01. One plus the rate is 1.01. And the number of compounds for us was the number of years, although it can be actually anything. It could be a number of months, a number of weeks, a number of anything. And we might get into that. We'll see how time, how time goes. We might, we might look at that later. And that, I think, is a good place to stop for today. And I think you can have some fun in your, uh, in your homework. So we will catch you next time. See you, friends.